I was on my very first spacewalk. Uh, I was Canada's first spacewalker, and I'd been outside for a few hours, and suddenly my left eye went blind, which is not what you want to have happen when you're outside in a spacesuit on a spacewalk. And I, it, I just slammed shut in pain, and I couldn't figure out why. And I, you can't rub it. Of course, it's inside a helmet. You can't do anything. And tears don't fall without gravity. So you end up with just whatever contamination is in your eye, and I didn't know what it was, you end up with a bigger and bigger contaminated tear on your eye and you can't do anything about it. It just stays in your eye screaming at you in pain, but what do you do? So I just worked for a while just using my right eye. But unfortunately, because tears don't fall, the tear drop or tear ball on my face got big enough that it crossed the bridge of my nose and went into my right eye. And then both eyes were contaminated and I was blind in both eyes. And then I had to talk to Houston and they didn't know for sure what the cause was as I didn't. And we dealt with it. Uh, we well, t tell our listeners what they suggested that you did. Well, they thought it might have been the carbon dioxide removal chemical, which is lithium hydroxide. And one of its first symptoms is eye irritation, and then it can start doing lung damage. So they had me, they said, we'd like you to open the purge valve on the side of your helmet, which made sense. But it has and that still, means oxygen is, 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 basically is open pulling a hole. any contamination. Uh, yeah. Open a hole on the side of your suit so that... Uh, so that any of the contamination would have a chance to flush out and fresh oxygen squirting in from a limited supply of the tank on your back. It's a very unusual feeling to be holding on to the outside of a spaceship blind, listening to your oxygen hiss out into the universe, uh, waiting for things to get better. But again, it was something, it, it wasn't, it should have been terrifying, I think, if it just happened to you out of the blue. But because I knew everything about the suit. I'd mm. trained on it. I'd spent hundreds of hours underwater practicing. The guy I was out with named Scott Perzinski, he and I had practiced rescuing each other. We call it incapacitated crew rescue. We would practiced it. We had all sorts of ways to deal with even a serious a problem as that. And fortunately, after about a half hour, I had teared up my eyes enough. They'd evaporated enough that it, it diluted the contamination and I could see again. I could stop purging my oxygen, get back to work. And we did about an eight-hour spacewalk and got everything done. And it turned out all it was was the uh, the anti-fog on, on the visor, which used to be sort of a, a mixture of oil and, and, um, and sort of a soap. It's sort of like squirting, I don't know, oily soap in your eye. You mm. Just your eyes don't work. So since then, we've gone to uh, no more tears shampoo, which <laughs> we probably should have done in the first place. <laughs>